okay, you're obviously sleeping, and that's totally fine, but I need you to turn best friend mode on, like, right now, right freaking now. We're going to pretend he's not your brother for five whole seconds, and I just need to tell you that he kissed me. I know to be Oh, I know oh, what you mean to me I know what you mean to me It was July 9th and I was flying home from Washington. We had spent so much time talking and I was so anxious to go on our first date. And as you've heard, I changed my flight to come home early. I wrote on that flight, is it even possible to be in love with someone I haven't even gone on a date with? I went out with you that night, came back, and wrote, yes, yes it is. <laughs> you ready? Thank you. Looking forward for you being about seven little. McLean Sullivan, today is the day, and I can't believe it's here. In the last year, we have both grown so much, and I am so grateful that God has brought us to each other. Out of all the things I love about you, one thing I love most is that you're steady. When life is a little crazy and I'm a little crazy, you help me stay grounded and rooted in Jesus. I am so excited to see the journey God continues to take us on. Forever with you is the greatest gift God has ever given me. I love you today, tomorrow, forever and always. <laughs> Rachel Joy Savy. There are so many things that I love about you, and I can always remember being on dating, dating apps and wondering when I find the one. <laughs> I always prayed it wouldn't be through an app, and that prayer was answered. God gave me more than that. A pretty girl, a girl that can handle me and wants to spend forever with me. And I found that God is the only one that can answer and provide much more than I ever imagined. I am so excited to start this life with you. And yes, there will be ups and downs when we're married, but I pray that our relationship with Christ will be at the center. Rachel Joy Savy, you are the one forever. Love, McLean Sullivan. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many blessings in your hand upon our lives. We ask you that the unifying spirit will rest upon these kids, lead their lives, guide them. We leave them both now in your hands, thanking you for your blood and your death and your resurrection that we together can enjoy. Rachel. Here we are on this lovely and exciting day. As my heart is currently pounding, <laughs> I am so excited that this day is finally here. All I can do is thank the Lord for the lady that he put in my life. Not sure if this was just me, but I saw a picture of my mom and really wish she was here to witness this special day. I know she would be so proud of myself and show the same love she had for me to you. I wish you were able to meet her. I see the same qualities that my mom had in you, Rachel. She meant the world to me, and I'm so excited to have you as my wife here very shortly. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my dear daughter, Rachel. My baby grew up oh. time It's going to be hard for me to let you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know that today, 
just like every day, your mom is with you. I know she is watching you so proud and so full of love. There is no doubt in my mind that she would be sitting in the front row today celebrating us. As you walk today, know you are never alone. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. Mac, you may kiss your bride. McLean, I choose you. I choose to pursue our Savior alongside you and to show others the mercy and love God has for them too. I vow to fight for unity in our marriage with God at the center of everything that we do. When life is hard, I promise to stand beside you and walk through it together. And I promise to work at growing in our marriage, to serve you selflessly, mm -hmm. and to always remind you of God's truth and faithfulness. Well, again, here we are, September 2020. This is the day that you've been looking forward to, the day that you've been working towards. To the audience here, your presence here is a blessing to them. It is a reminder of God's plan and desire for all of us to be in both deep and also meaningful relationships. Well, we know that their intentionality and their commitment to their growing faith is a massive part of their lives and their prayers that you would see that here today. Then one day, finally, we met Mac. And I looked at him and I thought, oh, he seems kind of shy, <laughs> kind of awkward. You know, I don't know, he didn't know how to communicate. What's up with this? We've known him now for a year and we love him. We see that Jesus is in his heart, that he has a great deal of, of compassion and love that the Lord is the center of his life. And now God has put these two together to be one. So, my wife and I want to wish you the best in all that God has for you in your journey in this new chapter of life. We love you very much. Rachel is one of the most passionate, genuine, kind-hearted people I know. She gives her all in everything that she does, loves fiercely, and isn't afraid to be herself and speak her truth. She shows love to everyone around her, and guess what? The lucky winner to receive her love is Mac. It is with great joy to pronounce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sadie.